Hi everyone. Uh, in this video clip, I'm gonna explain that uh, what is uh, the breaching process uh, for the granular filter. Uh, to begin with that the breaching uh, process, uh, I will explain that uh, what kind of a filter clogging uh, consequences uh, uh, we expected. Uh, so for the old granular meat filter media, it eventually have some clogging fate. So, so what types of uh, clogging mechanisms uh, are applic applicable? Um, if a soil particle size is uh, larger enough not pass through the that filter media, eventually the all the retain above that filter. So we call this is a blinding. And so this kind of a, uh, accumulation of the particle the structure, we call it a kind of a filter K. Um, <clears throat> if the particle size is kind of a comparable and smaller than the construction size of filter, eventually some particle is uh, actually strained, uh, stuck inside of that uh, filter media by the smaller construction size. Or if the fine particle sufficiently uh, small enough uh, passes through the filter, but uh, at the flow, low flow rate, the, it can absorb on the surface of a filter. So we call it physical chemical clogging. Uh, so we actually differently explain those the mechanism it's the straining and the physical chemical clogging. But the older granular filter mainly focus on the physical clogging uh, mechanism. Um, any water treatment center, they will not actually uh, the concern with the kind of chemical clogging, the how to absorb that the chemical. Uh, toxic chemical uh, for, uh, from the, that uh, granular filter. But in our, uh, here the presentation, the, uh, we only just focusing that physical clogging mechanism. Um, next one is, uh, so what is a uh, breaching process? So cyber filtration process, so as I mentioned earlier, we just focusing those types of blinding situation. So all the fine particles as accumulated on top of the filter, not pass through the, that filter. So that case, how we can establish those self-filtration uh, mechanism. Uh, first thing is a soil particle can generate that uh, breaching structure of the granular filter associated with the ideal construction size. So I'm going to explain what the construction size means and the porosity. And the breaching formation is a strong filter structure and the resistance to the severe the hydro condition so once it uh, establishes. So if maybe mm, the later it's a more harsh, the hydro condition apply, still is a breaching formation is not breakable. Okay. Uh, the design of the optimal opening size and the area required for the analysis of a soil internal stability, uh, especially the, the governed by the, the compaction degree of the base of soil. Um, so I'm going to show you that the typical, uh, the cross section of that uh, soil uh, media above that granular filter. So we call this a bridge, uh, structure is a separate filtration structure or a bridging structure. So you can see it's a fine particle passed through the that the granular filter and uh, eventually it's starting from the original the void ratio at the, at the straight line or all, uh, all over that uh, the, the soil domain. But the, at the interface zone, it's suddenly the void ratio has increased because the fine particle is passed through to that filter, right? And and also the, the upstream area, uh, the fine particle is also migrate through the, from the upstream to downstream. And eventually it builds some kind of a self filtration structure. So the fine particle again in the pass, consistent pass through because it's a kind of a self filtration process. And so that case actually is a void ratio so it's a temporarily reduced at the, in the middle zone. As you can see, the fine particle is a kind of jammed in the center of that uh, filter media. However, and that more fine particle will be migration to sustain, uh, actually, uh, at the, uh, the original, the, the soil condition. So maybe eventually at the far distance, as far from the interface, that will cross to the original, the initial void, void ratio of the soil. Okay. So that kind of is a typical, pro, uh, uh, profile of that breaching structure. Um, this uh, configuration is uh, compared to the different uh, the model uh, 
uh, it's a kind of a unstable soil and there are stable soil. It's showing the different void ratio of the profile. And the piping case is, a, as you can see, it's a fine particle consistently eroded from the uh, up and uh, down and up. So it's consistently the void ratios increase. However, the blinding case, it's a, it's a, the filter opening size is too small and the fine particle eventually is trapped at the interface of the filter. So more, uh, most of the fine particle is actually trapped uh, and they accumulated, the starting accumulated from the that interface. So that kind of the of showing the process of the that the void ratio is uh, decrement. Okay. Um, actually, as I mentioned earlier, the construction is, is kind of a different of the pore space. Pore space is uh, kind of a, uh, the inside of space. It's three dimensional space. And the construction is a kind of pro channel at the combined area. So we call it this construction in the area at the pro channel and the defined actually the size of the that pro channel as maybe diameter of the that the inscribed circle. So construction is a two dimensional concept and pore is actually the, the three dimensional space concept. And the construction, so how we can derive the construction size from the grain size distribution curve? So there's a two way and the, the one is the volume based grain size distribution. This is actually the sieve analysis uh, we can obtain from the, the uh, weight, weight uh, conversion of that the grain size distribution. And the um, number based grain size distribution is a kind of, uh, is more, is uh, producing the fine particle is uh, uh, counted in the, for the grain size distribution. So that the, Volume based grain size distribution, construction size uh, production is more, it, that coarse particle, uh, the contribution is too high. So it's only just the core, the coarse, uh, the construction size is only the generated for the, the case. And the opposite way, and the number based grain size distribution produces too much is a fine particle contribution there. So we need to figure out what is actually real, the soil, the, the compute, uh, compute, so Pore, pore structure configuration. So that's actually in between the dose and the two extreme case and the volume based and the number based. So how we can probably can uh, calculate those, the, the construction size distribution. So we can call in the inverse form of this, uh, the particles diameter X and the power of the component beta. So beta range is zero to three and uh, it's zero means the volume based and three is the number based. So we should find that the appropriate the power number, the beta. So in the 1992, the Swedish researcher, he actually from the experimental work and figure out that that beta is close to one. Okay, and this diagram shows that that the brief that mechanism at the breaching process. And once the fine particle passes through the sieve and then the first sub layer, it changes that grain size distribution. Uh, and also it's, it's also construction size distribution, so influence on, and uh, that construction size change and so impact on the, the upper soil at the grain size distribution, right? So this is kind of a play the active filter. And so second layer also is fine particles pass through that first layer of soil. And so that also, also consequently to change that construction size distribution. So it's kind of a chain reaction and uh, move forward uh, towards that upstream area. So in the probability model, again, we be eventually getting these types of we get from the model and get that uh, gradient grain size distribution curve we change and come uh, from the distance from the that uh, interface of the uh, granular filter, and <clears throat> the, it depends on that uh, opening size of filter and that the grain size distribution curve is actually the change right from the that chain reaction, and also the probability model can and. Uh, uh, we can see that the void ratio profile also from the, the distance from the, that uh, interface also. And next one is the uh, and the uh, lab and the 1989 uh, paper. So I just uh, did uh, some kind of uh, example of the demonstration uh, using the probability model. And uh, he, he actually examined us uh, different types of uh, soil type, the M42. This is a modern number of the soil. And uh, he also applied the different size of opening. So maybe opening the uh, effective opening area and also opening size. And so they changed the diff different uh, uh, filter, uh, 
the sieve size and apply the different types of uh, the soil as uh, unstable, stable, gap grade soil. And they actually uh, figure out what the, the breach mechanism is uh, uh, observed from the, that experiment work. So from the, their work, actually, they actually figure out that these types of result and uh, it's uh, the 42 and uh, the soil profile and actually and apply these types of sieve and T4. And then we, they get this kind of a, some each sub layer and the grain size distribution, uh, they change, they figure out from the experiment. And the model, Proust model can actually, and the, we apply that, that the grain size distribution original curve, and then the, it getting uh, the kind of resultant that uh, uh, control, uh, grain size distribution change. So it depends on that uh, opening size. So this case is also the unstable soil, it's get greater soil, but eventually getting kind of a, some, yeah, the upper soil is close to the original soil grain size distribution. So we call it, this is all, uh, these two soil is actually reached to that breach information. So applied to that, the sieve size. However, this case is, uh, is a two, the sieve size too large uh, compared to that uh, internal st unstable soil and the spine particles are consistently pass through. So they eventually getting this type of, uh, all the, it didn't get a chance to the approach that original the grain size distribution. So all the, the fine particle is passed through the sieve. And upper case is a blinding and the fine particle is accumulated on top of because it's the smaller the opening size applied compared to the piping case. Okay, so from now on, I'm gonna just to, uh, introduce you of, uh, so how we can, uh, how we can uh, apply the, those uh, probability model for the actually the problem. Um, the first example is I'm going to introduce you. Uh, this uh, program it has input two input section is for the, the basis soil grain size distribution, and uh, and the second uh, the input section is for the, the sieve size. So sieve actually uh, has some the the percentage opening area and also the, its opening size itself. So first thing is uh, just to make the zero, that means uh, the your sieve is closed, that is uh, you just examine the self-segregation process, okay? So no actually fine particle, it's allowed to that pass through to that the sieve. Um, so you can see that you maybe, whatever you can erase that, and uh, you just plug in those, the, any number, and the, depends on the passing curve, and you can generate. And then you get the, this curve, and uh, you eventually getting the, the construction size distribution also kept from the calculation. So as I mentioned before, now is the first case is uh, the sieve is closed, and the opening is closed, and then you can calculate. You get and getting, I get times with this uh, uh, eventual the accumulation of fine is uh, you can observe it. But the lab floor actually model, and you can actually a different uh, opening size of light, right? And then that you apply also the different uh, these types of soil types and the unstable and the stable and the gap grade types. Uh, so you can also you maybe just to erase everything and then you just generate it, plug in those the, the number, and then you create. It, this is if automatically and uh, uh, change the generated that the grain size curve, uh, the original, and then you apply now is just opening size here. Like the first uh, M. 42, okay? Now is you apply this number and the, you just change also relative density. If the 0.2 is a very loose, maybe 0.9 is actually very dense. So, and first thing is that you just lose, apply 0.2 and you can calculate and you will get that this type is all, you know, the pine particle is all passed through to that. Uh, uh, so it's, uh, it doesn't reach that kind of uh, some breach information. If we maybe just employ increase, at uh, 0 0.9, it's a uh, relative density. Let's see, so how is it different apply? And you will get that, or maybe to just provide a better chance, you know, it's a kind of a, the pine particle is a kind of, it's a less reduced and the sustained. And on the, so one is a kind of, a, uh, it's an interface zone, and the second is actually the upper sort of soil uh, upstream area. So you can see kind of as a progression here. Let's just erase again and do calculation. Yeah, it's the same sort of conclusion. Okay, so you eventually getting these types of uh, it's a it's a measurement is a weight fraction of the it's each sub layer. 
So what percentage of 25% is the soil is eroded at the first layer and actually across the original point is just 4% is the X migration.